Here we are, once again. Once again. What number is this? Diaz. Diaz. Oh, how did we get this far already? I don't know. I don't know. It's, the FCC it's hasn't shut us down yet. Yeah, no, no. It's amazing. It's incredible. Oh, yeah. I'm Kimo. That's money. Yes. Howdy. Howdy ho. We're here with Cast Creek Club Web and Podcast, episode number 10. Special guest. R.T. R. T. Johnson. R.T. Johnson's here today. Yeah, man. We got Carolina in the house. Oh, man. We eat up with Carolina. See, I got it all over me already. I know. Trying to get it off. She has some breaking out. Look at that. That's Carolina right there. It's a, getting a little, you know, little little irritations on the skin showing up. <laughs> Somebody goobered you. Goobered, yeah, they did. So what did you learn about that today? The gooberin? Yeah, the gooberin. That's some that's some Carolina Mountain Voodoo, man. Wow. Apparently it's a real thing. Wait, I want to talk about that more, but right now we're gonna roll the credits. Do it! <laughs> Hey, hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> Tell me about the goober, Monty. The goober? You yeah. mean that radio station up there? No, Bowling Green the that's station. playing our, playing our song. Station. Thank you, guys. Yeah. They actually increased the spins. We love the goober. They did? The yeah. goober did? Mm-hmm. They sure did. My one and only weakness. Doing great. It is. It Tell is. me about this goober. The goober thing. I just learned about that. North Carolina. I don't know if it's North, Carolina, South, Virginia. I don't know where. It, I don't know, but... That's a black magic voodoo I think that's thing. That's that mountain voodoo. But where RT's from, he's over on the eastern side. That means it has come down it's, out of the it's mountain. It's made it over there, yeah. That stuff gives me the wheelies. Yeah, I mean, they'll cast spells on you. <laughs> they'll throw you in the boot down there, throw a goober on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boy, I tell you. Yeah, we will have the translator out for the <laughs> RT segments. We'll close caption. So we know what he's saying. He was, <laughs> he was saying that he was disking a field and uh, dug up a it was a jar, it was a mason jar, some goose with some eggs in yeah, it and stuff. Eggs. Yeah, that's. Now I don't know what that particular voodoo is supposed to do, but that sounds like that Cajun yeah. stuff too. Yeah, because they bury crap like they that. They bury it next to the the grave. Yeah. of whatever person. I guess that's that's hexing them in the afterlife. I, I don't know, man. It's, it's messed Weird up. Weird stuff. Weird stuff. Lord almost, Jesus. Almost, almost like that Squatch yeah. thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I love that sound. I, <laughs> I did not do my due diligence this week. I did not get a Squatch report. Well, we got RT in the house, so he's close enough. Yeah, he's he, he's the shaved down Eastern Carolina Squatch. That's right, man. Dude's got hands. Unbelievable paws on that, man. Yep. But he sure can't pick that guitar and sing. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. It's like if I had to play like this, you know. <laughs> knuckles. Yeah, knuckles. Yeah. <laughs> you got it bad too, buddy. I thought I had paws, but this man doors mine. I yes. Incredible. All that country living, because he is the real deal. He is. He it is, doesn't get more real. He is as authentic as yeah. they come. It's just one of the things we love about him. Yeah, he's got a We're, good following over there too. We've yeah. we've done a couple gigs with him where we've back like we was it the Diamond Rio show? The Diamond Rio show, we, Roanoke. We backed yep. him up, yeah, over there, and um, well, and of course the the old Cash Creek Club, the first one we did with yeah. T. Graham, which we're still reeling oh, over. Oh boy, that was awesome, man! Wow, that night was a success beyond our wildest dreams and we're so thrilled and we're so looking forward to I believe it's next week right September 4th I believe so Larry Stewart (sighs) the bluest eyes he's got to do that song oh he better he's got to he better well man all that well he's got he's got this Cash Creek band hacks behind him so he might steer clear of that stuff yeah yeah he might yeah, he might ask us, what songs do you guys really like? And we'll tell him, he says, okay, we'll do these over here. Yeah. These other ones. Let's let's do the ones that you might actually be able to play. <laughs> no. Yeah. Oh, man, I, I just, I remember, I remember when we were kids, I mean, when T-Gram came out, we had that first, just, I wore it out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wore it out. Yeah. And, and we stood there on that stage with him and he sang those songs. Yeah. I 
I'm tell you, man, there's moments I had yeah. I didn't even know where I was. Sure, sure. Was unbelievable. Yeah. I know we've been talking about this stuff for like three weeks now, but man, it was still it was awesome. We can't get over it, man. Can't get over it. And then here comes Larry Stewart. And he had, then here comes Larry Stewart and right behind. I don't know how yeah. we got him to. Uh, I think Uncle Nemo had a hand in that, but Uncle Nemo got him. And then we'll be having some more announcements pretty soon about who's coming up also yeah as soon as we firm them yeah. up so we're real excited man yeah. this this little this little dang little country club of ours all because you <laughs> was riding around on your mower hey, and look at that yeah thought popped in your head and yeah you said hey I'm gonna steal that thing from Six Wire steal that thing from Six Wire <laughs> absolutely <laughs> they keep bringing in all these rock and roll stars well, somebody's got to have the countries. That's right. Also, hey, if you, if, you, if you guys are Spotifying, our playlist, which is called Cast Creek Fire Starters, if you go to that playlist, you'll see a lot of the stuff. We call it that because it started the fire in us. Mm-hmm. We've got T. Graham Browns on there. Of course, the rest is heart songs. Um, a couple of Alabamas. Mr. Tie, Mr. Tie, ties right into the old Cast Creek Club because we're it trying does. to bring those artists that that helped shape us. Yeah. Of course, they probably don't want to know that, but yeah, they say I'm taking responsibility yeah. for that. I don't want anything to do with that, <laughs> but we're trying to have these, these, these artists that are on our Spotify list to come and do the show. Mm-hmm. We should probably update that. Cause it was so much the little bit early Eddie rabbit in there. Mm. Yeah. I got some. Yeah, but that's that's. There, there's some Earl Thomas Connolly in there. That's where it began. Yeah, absolutely. UTC man. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I saw him live with with T. Graham Brown in Santa Rosa. Yes. In like 89. Yes. They were touring together, swapping headlining spots. Right, right, yeah. Man, what a show. That was phenomenal. I think I cried at that one. Yeah. (laughs) Much as we bawled the other night. Oh, my Uh, man. Do you remember when ETC did the Napa County Fair? Do you remember that? Where they raced the the Speedway motorcycles. Not Calistoga, but it was Oh, they were down in Town Country Fair. Yeah, town and country. Yeah, that's what it was. Because it was the it's not that anymore. They've they've gone something more richy now. Because you know, it's really, so can't that... have any heritage. It's all about snoot snooty. Really? Yes, I'm gonna get in so much trouble for that. I'm sorry. We're not gonna edit that out either. That's... Sorry, not sorry. That's the real stuff right there. Get that rant clock. Going. I was born there, man. I have the right. You had you have the right. But I left. You're the angry old man. You you got the hell out of town. I did. But I remember that town and country fair there at the Napa Fairgrounds, Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin brothers. You remember seeing them yes. there? I remember some dude throwing a beer. Right. A can of beer. Yes. Right onto Larry Gatlin. Sprayed all over. Right, him. yeah. He was pissed. He was. They got As the guy out of there. Yeah. But um and you know, we were still teenagers. They were there, um, ETC, like we said, Earl Thomas County. Mm-hmm. Amy Lou Harris, I remember when she was there, too. John Anderson came there, didn't he? Or was John? that Sonoma? No. We I... saw him in Sonoma when we played there. Who were we? Because we had about a good four or five year one where we went, where it was all country. We went every year. Yeah. Then the yeah. one year they had the tubes, I remember. Right, right. Then they started doing the country night and then the, yeah. the, the rock night. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, that was some, that was some magic. And then up in Calistoga. It was uh, Mel McDaniel. I remember seeing him there. Johnny Lee. They all came through there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that shaped, that was, the whole time was molding us and shaping us. Yeah. Who we were going to be as musicians. We were trying to be, you know. Yeah. (laughs) We're trying to be. Yeah. Look at this dude here. We'll be back. He just dropped a single two weeks ago that is bad ass. And I will say it. Jackson Forrest, stick your face in here so they can see your lovely face. You look like you've been sipping on your sand there. Yeah. Dang. (laughs) I'm trying to microwave lasagna, so if you guys can hurry up. Oh, he's microwaving lasagna, so he wants us to hurry. I don't want the alarm to... (laughs) Yeah. We need to do something about our studio here. Yeah, yeah. Sipping your sin. Jackson Forrest. Yeah iTunes and everywhere else. Go yeah. download it. Yeah. It's it, great. It's, it's a, great. It's a mature statement for him, man. I mean, the... He's too young to be sipping on yeah, anything like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Bless his heart. I don't know, know where that came from. He's my kid, man. He's... <laughs> <laughs> Bless his heart. His life has been hell. Oh. <laughs> 
He's got to put up with us. Oh, uh, man, that's right. Uncle Monty and Chemo tell him about the ways of the world. <laughs> Every time he thinks he's doing good, we just smack him down. That's right. Knock his knees right out from under him. There's going to be some lucky woman out there, though. That will be a blessing. She better woman. be good to him. That's or, right. There will be. But I mean, because that is about. Hell. He's, I know he's my kid, but man, that's just about as good as they come. He is a good, good egg. He is a good egg. So, <laughs> yeah. All right. R.T. Johnson coming up. Woo-hoo. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> I'm going to get my stuff on and get here. I'm going to be ready for that, R.T. Come on in here. Let's go. Because my party, it could be. So much fun yesterday. If only you just say, say you'll come. If here is where you long to be, come as you were before you start. Look. It's R.T. Johnson, Monty. <laughs> R.T. is here. Hey, Cheers to you, brother. Uh, R.T. hat. Just for you sure cares. did. I appreciate it, man. R.T. jail. Yes. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Before R.T. begins speaking, we have a public service announcement. He might not understand everything he says, but know that his heart is pure and true, <laughs> and he's speaking nothing but love. Yeah. And we'll close caption the whole thing. Yeah, we'll close caption. That's we'll the purpose for. Yeah. Yeah. Put your little app up there, man. All right. All right. In fact, we had to throw away the whole first take because we couldn't understand a word he was saying. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Hello, Thanks RT. Coming, How Thanks you doing? Yeah, thank yeah. y'all for having me. Yeah. Boy, you just had a big weekend, didn't you? I did, I did. He released his brand new EP. What's it called? Man I Made. Man I Made. What, do you think you're God or something? No. Man, Sorry, come on. I appreciate him, I him giving me the talent so I, I can do this thing. <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I do. Uh, good stuff. Five five songs, right? Five songs on this EP. Five wonderful, good rocking songs, man. And I had a pretty good producer on it, too. Yeah, uh, he's a hack. He's a hack. It's like the songs and the performances were good enough to overcome his yeah. where he lacks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> RT is so you you you're what we call in the comedy business a mark. A mark. Yeah, it's like the guy you just gonna laugh at everything you say. Yeah. Yeah. I just do that sometimes. I love it. <laughs> That's why I like being around you. You make what, me feel in funny. The comedy business now, you know all the the slang what they what's the deal? Uncle Nemo, man. Oh Nemo. <laughs> My uncle. He infects everything. I spent I don't know like how many years standing next to him at an impersonator show. Laughing. That's all I did was laugh. He would just, his uncle, no, his dad was a writer for Sanford and Son. Really? Not yeah. mine. Oh, not not Nemo's. Oh. Nemo's. Okay. Yeah. The real Nemo. The real Nemo. Yeah. Okay, let's talk about RT. The We're here RT's here. RT Johnson. Yes. Oh, man. So, RT, tell us your story, buddy. Started singing in church when I was, I don't know, 10, 10 or so, and picked up a guitar and started learning how to play it. Do not know theory, by the way. Okay. But what I play sounds right. I can't tell you what I play half the time, but sounds right. <laughs> so I always heard as long as you got a good ear that overcomes everything else. And Absolutely. Lord bless me with that. So and um and he can just pick the fire out of that guitar. Yeah he does. Too, yeah he does. Appreciate it. it. Appreciate it. We can understand what your guitar is saying. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing. You ain't got an accent. Like <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah, uh, that just Started being one of my dreams, you know, just learning how to play guitar, and then I started wanting to do this thing full time. And Lord keeps opening up doors for me more all the time, you know. So I feel like this is what might be what I'm meant to do. I believe it is. A lot of a lot of people, you know, learn how to rebuild motors and do this and do that, and I just learned how to play music. That's what I. 
Sure, yeah. I mean, took I, my time, you know, to do. And everybody else was out doing things. I'm sitting home in my bedroom learning, learning my guitar. That's your gift, man. I mean, everybody is gifted, and when you're able to find that gifting, it's like, boom, yeah. right? You're, you're just to the moon. Yep. Nothing can stop you. Yeah, but, uh, and you wrote. You're a songwriter, too. Yes, sir. Yeah. How many songs did you get on the EP? I got, let's see. Daddy? Yeah, Daddy, Summertime Hangover, it's, um, and um, Whiskey. But um, So three out of five songs on your CD <clears throat> you wrote. Yeah, Um uh, summertime hangover and um, uh, Zach Boyd, a boy, one of my friends around home, he helped me write that one. And the, the boys I used to play music with, and um, the boys, uh, I, you know, I was in Moonshine before. Mm -hmm. We changed mm -hmm. the name or whatever, and uh, all the boys in that band helped me write, helped us write um, whiskey, too. So we all got together and wrote that song. So yeah. Dead is the only one I really wrote by myself. Now so, that was a great sentence right there. Daddy was the only one that I written by myself. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> that is that is Carolina as you can get. Yes, there, yeah, that's, good stuff. that's the real thing. <laughs> y'all keep that's on hanging stuff. around me. Y'all gonna learn it. I feel it. It's I it's, feel it's, it. I feel it clinging to me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Clean that's that goober. His, that's that goober getting on you. Yeah, yeah. Drop um, the goober on you. Him. You put the Carolina hex on him, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I did. <laughs> Allie, some um, Allie's kids sometimes. They, you know, they pick on me too. Oh, they really? can't understand me. And, and they're, just, they're just one county over. Just one county over. Just one county over. That sounds like. <laughs> 30 yeah. minutes down the road. It I, sounds like Europe, uh, you know, when you got, you know, they speak French here, and then, you know, over yeah. here they're Italian, and it's like, that's such a lot. Yeah. It's like the Tower, Tower of Babel. This one county <laughs> over. Yeah, they can't understand. <laughs> but, uh, but, yeah, she, she uh, but now, now, now her kids is uh, starting <laughs> to say some words like me. That's awesome, man. That, that, so, that's hilarious. Yeah. I, love it. I love it. Well, you know, that is the one thing I think that resonates from you is your authenticity. You know, I mean, you're, you ain't, there ain't a fake bone in your body, you know. I mean, there ain't, there's nothing that you're putting out that uh, you know is is. I mean, I don't want to say like too slick yeah. or like you know rehearsed or anything. You are just, hey, here I am. Here's my songs. Listen to my voice. Listen to my songs, and and it really is quality stuff. And I think everybody needs to go pick that pick up that ep yes sir because it's 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 good stuff it's good. and it's just the tip of the iceberg man i mean it's like it's only five songs of who you are it's only going to get bigger from there yeah i hope so Woohoo! yeah we're, we're excited. excited about we're really excited here at old ccb land yes sir i appreciate y'all having me on there heck yeah man yes, sir. we're gonna take a break and we will be back with more rt johnson Better say right now. Yeah. Hot now. Hot now. Oh, not the rain clock. No. <laughs> You're my one temptation. What I can't refuse. I want to know. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, red tip on everything. Yeah. Yo, shave down squatch. Squatch. Look at those hands. Monsters. I can't remember. Did, did we talk about those in the last segment or was it the erased? The one that it got erased. Oh, did? I don't remember. Look at those hands. Look at those. How do you? How, how does your guitar survive? It's just like. <laughs> I don't oh, know. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm surprised. <laughs> how, how you fit them on the frets? I don't know. That's why I've never. I've thought about trying to learn the mandolin, but I one finger would probably cut the whole. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'd work no, with that too no, good. No. Yeah. Inside that one paw, I don't know. How you, I don't know how you get them in there. Have you have really you seen those? Uh, this is way out there, but have you seen those that Russian slapping competition? I have. <laughs> It, it is awesome. Our team would I'm not kill. Standing, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not he standing would in kill. Front of you, you have you the guy that's now the the champion with some old 
Russian farm boy, just this massive dude. I mean, and it's like a paddle. You know, it's yeah. like a whale fin of a hand. Yeah. And One swipe and they're out cold. I think man, not, like, Jackson was cold. showing me uh, a, a video of him. Man. Oh, he showed you too. I mean, yeah. they're drawing blood and stuff. Yeah. And I mean, he slapped this boy and down he went. Yeah, I mean, he, he was out. out. Cold, yeah. I mean, I've never seen, I've seen people get punched and get knocked out. This guy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Just, oh man. Down but, he went. You were telling me a story about a boy up in your place where it was like, you know, his his fist was like that. Yes, yes. It was, his fist was pretty much the size of both of mine. Just Jeez, like, oh. could you imagine that? It's I mean, like an anvil. He, he, he was a horse. Something in that water up there in the Carolinas. Yeah. You said just... It's that fire water. Yeah, that's what it is, that fire water. That fire water. Hey, you got Booty a song water. called fire water, I don't do, you? I do. Remember when we played that one with you? Them folks, they like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hold it. They hold that. They hold it up. Oh, fire water. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I had a, a, a the guy that was playing with me at the time. He had come up with a riff and uh, popcorn Sutton had just died. And I was reading about it on uh, on the computer. And I went in my bedroom and fifteen minutes I had his song wrote. Oh wow! So that's kind of just funny. It's it's awesome when that happens. Yep. It's too bad though, because I, you know, another two minutes would have made it a better song. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's <laughs> all you needed. Just two, two more minutes. minutes. <laughs> just two more. Yeah, that's a smack in the face, by the way. You always have a. I've only got the verbal smacks. I can't smack with my. <laughs> I've got the alien fingers. You know, my fingers look gross. They're so long, but your hands. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Money had the biggest hands I knew until I saw yours. Yeah. Monty knows how to hold a man, too. <laughs> <laughs> it takes a skill, you know? I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's tenderness combined with a little rough, you yeah. know? It's, it's <laughs> <laughs> At least I ain't going to get picked on right here. <laughs> <sighs> okay. We talked about you. Should sit here and be quiet. <laughs> we talked Things about might it. come out of my mouth that may not be appropriate. Oh. We oh, might just hear podcast. <laughs> the, the old pod podcast. <laughs> we might have to turn the rant clock over. Yeah. I'm gonna give Monty a good Jeez, rant one day. Man. I'm gonna flip that thing and say, "Go for it, Monty." He's gonna say, "You suck! You suck! You suck! You suck!" <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> <laughs> RT, when's yeah. your single coming out? The single, uh, which is called Thirsty Weather. Thirsty Weather, August the 26th, I think is when it's supposed to impact radio. That's the impact date. You've got it delivered already, right? Mm-hmm. So yep. all the stations got it. Yep. All the PD's been paid. Yep, everything's ready to roll. If your label is doing their job properly, it's all done. Yep. No, yeah. we hire people for that. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> we're, we're like Trump, you know, we just tell people to. You take care of that. Yeah. Just, <laughs> what you got to do sometimes. That's what you got to do. That's Delegate. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We, you know about radio promoters and stuff, you know, you have, because they have the relationships. That's right. That's right. They're That's like right. lobbyists, you know, they're going to go lobby for you. Yeah. And we have a wonderful radio promoter. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I met her last night. She is. A couple weeks notch. ago. About three weeks ago. Yeah. About three yeah. weeks ago. Yeah, last night, three weeks ago. It's that time travel thing, man. It gets you. We've, we've figured out how to fold time. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so go back and tell yourself three weeks ago, don't drink that. Yeah. <laughs> it was about three weeks ago, RT was in town yep. for our Cash Creek Club Live, the first one, and killed it. He did. Kill killed it. it. I had a I had a ball. That was that was fun. And old T Graham Brown, man. Man, he's awesome. Mm. R T and T. Yeah. R T and T. It sounds like a I like communications. It. I like it. R T and T. Yeah. I would think I was thinking T and T. Yeah. O T N. But where you took it is yeah, I don't like that at all. Probably inappropriate. <laughs> as usual. And stupid. R T thinking, I thought this was a talk show, but see the more we talk because people can understand what we say. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. So you sit there and smile and be crazy. Unfortunately, they're, yeah. Most of the time they're going, hey, shut up. <laughs> let the, let the so, artists talk. Yes, let's go back. Thirsty weather. 
We did that, right? We did. Yeah, which is a great song, by the way. Fantastic, Thirsty Weather. And that's not even the best song on the EP. No. Which is cool. You got that strength of material. Says who? Yeah. Says you. You like it? Is that your favorite song? <laughs> it's always Thirsty Weather. It man. is always Thirsty Weather. Wherever or whenever. Wherever or whenever. Yeah. Either rain or ice or dark or night. Yeah. Don't keep, keep us, us from a rain. That's right. <laughs> Yeah. See, no. when you when you do our tea it's singing, hot. you gotta sing. You like gotta that. sing out the side it's of your hot. mouth I a little bit. Cold one. When it's cold, we want to warm I up. Warm up. <laughs> yeah. It's always thirsty weather. Old Mother Nature, she's always in our favor. That's right. That's right. And right now, it's thirsty weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's the song, and it's just a little bit better than what we did right there. <laughs> A little bit. Just a little bit. This is early morning, too, for us. Yeah. This is not going well. I thought the first one was going really well. Yeah. And then, you know. Yeah. This might be worse than the one that where it was just us two. It could be. It could be. This no, might be the got, worst we got, podcast we got we've ever team. had. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's so affable and agreeable. Yep. 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 Sure enough. <laughs> I just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. <laughs> hey, you're going to sing some for us today? Yeah, I'll sing some for you. Which, which song are you going to sing for us? What do you want to hear? I want to hear whatever you want to sing. What do you want me to sing? As long as it's not that song. As long as it's not that Why song. Why don't you do that Daddy Kept Pushing song? Uh, I no, that was the one right? I said, no, not that one. The oh, other ones. Man. You ruined everything. <laughs> I said, if it yeah. weren't for his daddy, this man would not be here. That's right. right. That's, that's right. That's, that's right. right. You know, hey, hey. he done. He threw his guitar down and said, "I'm done with this." God yeah. bless them daddies. And he said, "No, yeah. you're not, son." I have. I've threatened to burn them. I've threatened to do everything. It's it's, it's uh people. It's more than just getting on the stage and having fun. People don't understand all the all that's behind the scenes. Really, I mean, look at these bags. Um, gray hair. It's, it's it's a lot. Mine's of, only twenty six, man. Yeah. Look at it. Man. <laughs> Business yeah. been very, very good. <laughs> <laughs> but people don't really understand how much hard work it is to do this. Yeah, man. And like right now, I'm working a full time job too and playing oh. music full time. So oh, it's, it's, well, it, no, not right now because this is three weeks from now. You've already quit that job. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your album's out, buddy. Yeah. You're an artist. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Change, got to change that. Click. <laughs> Let's take a break. We'll be right back. This man going to sing. Woohoo! Jeez. Oh, hey. I was supposed to do something. I should have had a bulletproof energy drink. I'd be wide awake and ready to tell you all about bulletproof energy drinks. These guys right here, not only will it pick you up, get you popping, but they give five cents of every can to support our American military veterans. So, I mean... That's a win-win all the way around. Bulletproof energy drinks. Get you some. Ladies and gentlemen. Hey, this this little bit of back porch picking right it here, is. Monty. We're ah, keeping the Carolina well. going right here. We just want to show them cash in. We're showing them cash in. RT. <laughs> Was a little boy playing baseball, but wasn't quite as good as some. I caught hell from the others, cause I ran kinda slow. Sweetheart, 
and she broke my heart. So I turned to the bottle, get me cold with the pain. And I was about to give up on everything, but did it keep me pushing? Pushing me to follow my dreams and never give up. And forgive the ones that hurt me, even as tough as it was. You gotta hold your head up high, son. piece myself back together I come out stronger than I was but my songs and my guitar were always my biggest dreams but my six strings and my music I mean everything Pushing me to follow my dreams and never give up. And forgive the ones that hurt me, even as tough as it was. Kept a pushing. It was in me to follow my dreams and never give up. And forgive the ones that hurt me, even as tough as it was. You gotta hold. R.T. Yeah. Johnson. Thank y'all for having me. <laughs> awesome. Skyping Nemo, Monty's Jewish, Italian, Swedish uncle. Apparently, Monty's not a reader. So, you know, he had to resort to music. I mean, you know, I mean, I, I don't understand it. You're traipsing around the country, playing the rock and then the roll. I don't, I, I don't get it. You could have been in Omaha somewhere, you know, 
at a nationwide, you know, chain, you know, yeah. uh, you know, work yourself up to the coffee pot to the boss, you know, play a little grab ass with the secretary, you know, move up in the world. You know? But no, instead you're out with the gas street crew, traipsing all over the country, playing the rock and in the roll. Play a little Boston Pop, something a little syncopation. You know. I mean, what the hell? I mean, you're, you're, you're good, but you freaking load. <laughs> I mean, how the hell do you sleep at night? Skyping Nemo. And now, it's video time with Monty. I'm a lawnmower. Yeah, come to Nashville, man. It'd be great. But you be musicians all the time. Right. If it's raining or sunny, you're feeling sad or funny. In the city or the country field or tavern If you're happy or hurting Insecure or certain With someone or just flirting It don't matter Well it's always thirsty weather A brown bag, a jug of shot, a Jim Beam Jaeger, a Tron or Bacardi, and a jacket or a t shirt, in the high rise or the red dirt. It's always a perfect temperature for a party. It's a party. It's always thirsty weather. survived the uh, Carolina. I know. I just keep trying to hide my zit. RT, boy. I love that man. It was good. I love that, man. Sounded great in spite of us. Yeah. <clears throat> what you laughing about there, money? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody had the bright idea to put an egg in my hand. Uh, the, Bad the, call. That's the thing that makes me like that. The shaker. The shaker. The so you're supposed to be able to keep the tempo and be all shh. Yeah. Shik -shik -shik -shik. You look cool. Not me. Yeah, well, you know, hey. Not me. 
Your baseman. <laughs> the whitest man on earth. It's it's un, it's unbelievable. It's a gift. Highly gifted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Monty. Love that, you. That shall never happen again. Oh, uh, man, you know. No more. It's not easy. No more. It's hard to commit to anything for four minutes. It's, yeah. It's yeah. not fair. Yeah. I will, yeah. Never mind that. That's why it's always so we funny. We check that one off my list. No you more go, egg for you. You go see those bands, and that person thinks, well, I'll just play tambourine because yeah. I'm not a real musician. And, of course, it's louder than anything in the right. band, and it's just busting the groove. Busting the groove the whole time. The minute they start singing, then they quit playing. Right. You know? I mean, it's that stuff is not easy. You know, uh, kudos to the percussionists out there. Yep. It's Big not time an easy kudos. gig. Because like you think, hey man, if Chuck Tilly can do it, anybody, anybody can, can do, do it. it. <laughs> Not true. Not true. Not true. I for one, eh, nope. Uh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. But old RT, he just plowed right through it. Because he he didn't he's hear anything but himself. He's an artist. That's know? right. He's in the bubble. In the bubble. Yeah. Oblivious to all around. <laughs> <laughs> Not RT. That's the sweetest, most. Down home, man. That's a real. That's a real boy right yeah. there, man. Yeah. Authentic. This business is gonna eat him up. Oh, dang it! At least he's with us, though. Yeah, we'll protect it's, him. It's like, okay, RT, everything we did, you do the other. Yeah, go the other direction. <laughs> when you get to those choices, the choices that we made, make the other one. <laughs> we'll help you with that because we've already known yeah. what not to do. We success, I think success, success. Easy for me to say. You've been around Carolina too much. Time to get on out of here, buddy. It is. What did he say there at the end when he was talking to us? The, the booting up and I was just getting announced. His, oh, no, no, he's gonna he won't jump on that bird and what did he get? The I, bird. I thought it said beard. I thought oh, it was hit a boogie. Jump on that bird and get I don't know. I'll have to look that hit back. Hit a boogie, up. yeah. Hit a boogie. Hit haul, a bo- haul a boogie. Haul a boogie. Yeah, I want to jump on that bird. Haul a boogie. Jump on that bird and haul a yep. boogie. That meant he was going to go that down to the airport. He's going and to get the airport and going home. Yeah. We're getting better at it. We're jump on that bird and haul a boogie. Yeah, right. Jump on that bird. Jump on that bird. Jump on that bird, jump on that bird and haul a boogie. Haul a boogie. Yeah. That's awesome. We're man. getting ready. <laughs> we'll keep practicing. We'll have that. We'll have that Carolina East thing going. Oh on. man. All right, well, yeah. folks. My mouth's all. Yeah. Time we'll to go. We'll be back with some old Cashkin Club next week. Yeah, time to go. Gotta time go to go. I'm hungry. I'm going to get some food. <laughs>